In June 2011, 89-year-old Harry Waskey got sick from what seemed to be a summertime flu. The avid gardener suspected Lyme disease when his symptoms persisted. Feverish and a little chilly and achy and weaker. I almost collapsed and was admitted to the hospital. I've been keeping the list we call the mysterious disease. Dr. Joseph Gugliata of Hunterdon Medical Center diagnosed Waski, not with Lyme, but with Borrelia myomotoi. The infection is so rare, his was just the second documented case in the United States. It is caused by a type of bacteria found in the deer tick, the same tick that transmits Lyme disease and several other illnesses. There were patients actually that came up negative on all the testing, including Lyme disease. We were sure they had something but we couldn't prove what they had. The bacteria may have caused infection in recent years without being recognized. Researchers have found them in 2% of deer ticks. Lyme is present in 20%. Dr. Gary Wormser of New York Medical College was part of a team that found myomotoi bacteria in 18 stored blood samples from patients with and without symptoms. What we still need to learn about it is how frequently is it a cause of human infection, what are the symptoms and signs? When a patient comes in with a fever over the summer, do I have to now think, well, maybe it's this new disease? I think you do, but summertime febrile illnesses, you should think about tick-borne diseases if there's tick exposure. You don't have to actually see this t the tick? Absolutely not. You're in an area that has ticks and... The majority of the time where you have a tick-borne infection, you don't recall a tick bite. Today's estimate is so much higher than previous official numbers because most cases go unreported. But the CDC told me there has also been a real increase in Lyme cases, likely more than tripling over the past 20 years as the ticks spread to new areas. Okay, thank you, John.